What up, family? This your man, Jeff. Welcome back to my channel, Food Delivery Guru. All right, y'all. So it's been a little bit over a week um, since DoorDash has given me the ax. Um, it's given me time to settle in with Grubhub, figure out how I'm going to drive them out here in El Paso, Texas. And you guys know me being a veteran. That don't take me very long at all, okay? So uh, looks like the prime time for me to really make my money uh, with Grubhub is going to be, and this is not being on any schedule, is going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, okay? So last week, being the end of the month, okay, um, I did $718 uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with Grubhub, and that's not too shabby, okay? Now, I did a little bit over a 1000 bucks for the entire week, uh, but my active hours was 42 hours. Man, that's, whoo. I'm used to doing a thousand plus in like 30, 35 hours. That 42 hours yeah, is only seven more hours, but that seven more hours is a full goddamn day damn near. So anyway, guys, I'm doing what I got to do. Um, but one of the things that I wanted to uh, kind of share with you guys and, you know, get your feedback. Maybe you know about it. Maybe you don't. Uh, but it looks like Grubhub is really having a problem getting us drivers to take these pay and order deliveries, okay? So what they have started doing, at least out here in El Paso, uh, they have started calling the restaurant and paying for the food over the phone. Okay, great. I don't have any problem with that. That's just like a going and picking up a regular order. But the problem is, and y'all know, on some of these pay orders... You get to the restaurant and the order ain't placed and it says it was placed so i had an incident where it said that the order was placed and it should have been paid for and so just to see if they had a workaround i went on and called support and the guy was just feeding me a bunch of bull talking about well well this is not on contract you're gonna have to pay for the order i said no the order should already be paid for it's not, it's not asking for me to take a picture of the receipt. And honestly, I don't think the card's going to work. So, you know, I said, okay, fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try it. So I got off the phone with the support because, you know, a lot of times they don't even know what the hell they're talking about. Okay. Um, so I got off the phone with them and I told the lady uh, that I wanted to try to order this stuff. But don't be yelling back there to that kitchen. Okay, tell them to get this food done. I want to put the order in and see if the car's going to work. Okay, so what did y'all think happened? Yeah, right. The car didn't work. Decline. Decline. So um, if you guys get an order and the restaurant um, has not received that order, okay, I wouldn't waste my time calling support. I would get rid of the order because the app is not prompting you to pay for the order. Therefore, I don't believe that the money is going to be on the card. Okay, so that's just my little advice if you ever get one of those orders. Um, now, if you guys have had those orders and had that issue and you've been able to pay with your card, please put in the comments below and let me know. Okay, uh, maybe I might try it again on, you know, if the order is paying really, really well. That order wasn't really paying me that well. It was like a $7.80 order going like four miles or five miles. And it ain't really all that for me to be sitting there waiting on no food. Um, but I might get one of those orders that might be like 15, 16 bucks. And I might go ahead and try again. Um, so if you've had those orders and had that issue and you were able to pay with your card, please put in the comments below. Maybe I might give it another try. Um, but all in all everything is still going pretty good and um, the only bad thing right now like i probably mentioned in my videos my my chevy bolt is still in the damn shop two and two and a half plus weeks and now they got more issues um with some parts that came in that ain't really the catalytic converters ain't really working with the car they don't know if the part number it was right and they put the wrong ones in the box i don't know what the hell going on so i'm still walking um i think the only advantage that i'm getting right now at this point is the fact that i do have a brand new battery in my chevy bolt and it is giving me uh, about 50 to 60 to 70 more miles uh, per 
full charge, which is awesome. So I can pretty much ride all day and don't have to worry about trying to charge this thing or sitting in a charger at all, okay? Because no way in hell am I going to be able to drive 300 miles in a day <laughs> doing orders. My average is about 150, maybe 200 miles a day. So with me having 250, 260, 270, man, I'm golden. So anyway, guys, um, I don't really got nothing else for you. Um, like I said, you know, I'm just down to grow pub and I'm just going to roll with that and uh, still working on my t-shirt stuff. Um, but I ain't got nothing else for you. As I always say, y'all drive safe out there. Make that money.